Yo, what's going on guys? Hennis here and today I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. Now today what we're going to go ahead and talk about are some ways in which you can actually get headshots a little bit easier and a little bit faster in Infinite Warfare. This is a question that a lot of people really wanted answered back in Black Ops 3 as well, not only because headshot challenges are incredibly fun to go for, which they're not, but also because the reward for completing all these headshot camo challenges is a sort of a grand finale camo. In Black Ops 3's case we have the Dark Matter camo and in Infinite Warfare we have the solar camo or the black sky camo. So naturally, a lot of people really want those camos because they look incredibly cool. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some tips on how you can actually complete these headshot challenges a little bit faster and get headshots a little bit easier here in Infinite Warfare. So hopefully you guys will go ahead and enjoy today's video. If you guys do, a like rating is of course, as always, very much appreciated. Let's go ahead and see if we can shoot for 100 likes on this video. If we could hit that, that would be absolutely amazing. And I want to go ahead and briefly thank all of you guys who showed a ton of support this past week during my gift card giveaway. If you guys are disappointed, you didn't get a chance to win that or participate in it, don't worry. There's actually another link you guys can actually check out down there in the description below where you guys can actually earn free gift cards and COD points in Infinite Warfare. Basically, all you got to do is check out this website on your phone, download a few apps from the App Store. You'll get points every single time you download some apps and try them out for 30 to 60 seconds. Then you can use those points to actually redeem gift cards in their redeem store. I've actually already gone ahead and redeemed like $10 worth of stuff. It's incredibly easy to do. It does take a little bit of time, but it's totally worth it. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out down there in the description below. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump right here into this video. So one of the first big tips that I can give to you guys in terms of getting more headshots in Infinite Warfare is to really not focus too much on your KD or your score. Call of Duty is one of those games that really rewards a lot of people for getting really high KDs and really high score per minute. And that's what a lot of people really do tend to focus on, especially in my community. I'm in the pub zombie community, so a lot of people want to get a ton of kills and a lot of score and stuff like that. They want to level up as quickly as possible. But when you're going for headshots, obviously you're not going to be getting those incredibly good gameplays. You're going to really be focusing on getting headshots. So naturally, you're not going to be getting as many kills and you're not going to be accumulating as high of a score. So it's really important to keep in mind that you really don't have to pay attention to getting an incredibly high score when playing Infinite Warfare going for headshots. So honestly, just that little bit of a switch in mentality can really help you guys out a lot in terms of getting more headshots within Infinite Warfare. Now let's move on here. We'll move a little bit away more from the psychological aspect of getting more headshots and more into the actual strategies that you can implement into your gameplay and sort of your play style. So one of the biggest things that's really helped me with getting headshots is playing a little bit more passive and sticking to the outskirts of the map and taking advantage of head glitches. This is really beneficial. Playing passive and sort of sticking to the outskirts of the map is going to avoid you from being caught in those situations where you're right in the middle of an objective flag or moving through a very highly trafficked alley in a map where a lot of people are going to be. Usually when you're in those areas, you're not going to be able to get yourself a lot of kills even when you're not trying to go for headshots, but if you stay to the sort of outskirts of the map, odds are you're going to be able to perform some pretty powerful flanks as well. And when you get behind the enemies, that's when it's going to be easiest to get these headshots because the enemies don't know you're there and you can get your shot off, really concentrate on making sure your crosshairs are right on that enemy's head and guaranteeing yourself to get that headshot. So it's really beneficial to sort of play a little bit more passive and just play a little bit more smart. Don't be incredibly rushy when trying to get these headshot challenges. Just a little bit of a change again in mentality, but also strategy while playing can really really help you get more headshots. So like I said, be a little bit more passive and don't necessarily rush to those highly trafficked areas of the map where you know a lot of people are going to be. Sort of wait a little bit, maybe camp back on a head glitch where you can guarantee yourself to decrease the chances of the enemy getting shots on you and know that you have a little bit more cover and increase your chances at getting shots on someone else. So now that all of those strategies are out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right here into the class setup that I have for you guys. Now, naturally, this class setup isn't going to allow you to complete every headshot camo challenge within Infinite Warfare because you're going to need to spice up the primary weapon, obviously, or the secondary weapon, depends on what camo challenge you're actually going for. But I wanted to go ahead and just make sort of more of a generic class setup here that can really be adapted and used for many different weapons to make getting headshots a little bit easier in Infinite Warfare. So you guys are going to see this class setup up on screen here right now, and I'm using the NV4 as sort of this example primary weapon, not only because it's the very first assault rifle that you actually get in Infinite Warfare, but also because it's incredibly accurate. And when you're getting headshots, you're going to want to use weapons that are incredibly accurate, and if the weapons not really accurate, you're going to want to use some attachments that are going to help with that. So the attachments that you see here on my MV4 are a red dot sight, foregrip, and hollow point. Now a red dot sight is going to be really beneficial. If you guys have not tried out any optical sights on any of your weapons yet, I highly recommend doing it. Essentially what it does for you here on the MV4 for example, or an SMG or an LMG, is it gives you a sight on top of your weapon that allows you to be a little bit more accurate with your shots. Now a lot of people may be looking at a weapon like the MV4 and saying, but Hennis, the MV4 already has really 
good iron sights. Why on earth would I want to have an optical sight? Well, when you have an optical sight, it just puts that little red dot right in the middle of your screen and really allows you to be more accurate with your shots. Again, this is really kind of hard to explain without actually playing the game for yourself. So if you throw on a red dot sight, you guys will see that your accuracy will improve a lot in this game. So definitely make sure you go ahead and try that out. And even though the MP4 is incredibly accurate, like I already said, having on the foregrip attachment is going to make it that much more accurate. It's literally going to make this weapon a laser in this game. And foregrip is again, one of those attachments that you're going to want to have on all of your weapons when trying to complete headshot challenges, because it's going to allow you to make sure that your shots stay really steady and really straight and really precise when going for those headshots. Now, hollow point, the very last attachment that I have here. No, I'm not talking about the YouTuber hollow point, even though he is also incredibly awesome. Hollow point in this game allows you to increase headshot lethality when you're using his weapons. Now, I do believe that the hollow point attachment is only available on assault rifles, which means that you're only going to be able to use this attachment to your advantage on assault rifles. The good news is though, unlike in Black Ops 3, the only headshot challenges you actually have to complete are with assault rifles in Infinite Warfare. So hopefully you guys will actually go ahead and make sure that you have hollow point unlocked on your primary assault rifle before you actually try to go ahead and start completing headshot challenges. Now because it's actually going to increase headshot lethality when you do land that one shot on the head, even if necessarily every shot isn't on the head, you're going to increase your chances of actually killing the enemy. So let me put it to you like this. If you're in a gunfight and you put two shots into the enemy's sort of upper body range and then one shot into their head and then the fourth shot into their again midsection, you're probably not going to be able to actually land that headshot, that final shot that's going to make your kill a headshot. So you're not going to be able to get the headshot for that kill. However, if you're running hollow point and you nail those first two shots to the upper body range and then that very last one is on the head, because this attachment gives increased headshot lethality, you're going to increase your chances of making that final shot a kill shot in the head, which is then going to give you that headshot kill. So extremely beneficial to have this attachment on. Definitely make sure you have it on all of your primary assault rifles. Now quickly before I forget, I want to tell you guys that if you are comfortable, make sure you are playing hardcore when going for these headshot challenges. In hardcore, health is reduced for all players so when you nail those shots on the head it's really only going to take one or two bullets to actually kill the enemy as opposed to when you're playing core it may take three or four so it's just a little bit easier to get those headshots if you're maybe not necessarily being able to be as consistent keeping those shots streamlined onto the enemy head in core being able to only nail one or two shots in hardcore may increase your chances of getting more headshots and just overall make it a little bit easier but again I know a lot of people aren't necessarily comfortable with playing in hardcore so it's really just going to come down to your own personal preference now moving on here to the tacticals. This isn't something that I usually put on any of my class set of videos that I cover over here on my channel for you guys, but having on the cryo mine is going to be incredibly beneficial. If you guys haven't tried this out yet, essentially what it is, is it's essentially sort of like a stationary concussion grenade. So when you put this down, as soon as an enemy walks over it, they'll be disabled in a movement sense. So they won't actually be able to move very easily as well. It's almost as if they've been concussed. They can still see though, but they actually won't be able to move very easily. So having this on is going to be really beneficial because when you throw this down and you realize that an enemies activated it, when you run back over to that spot, the enemy is not going to be able to shoot you and it's going to make it a little bit easier for you to take your time and get your shot and make sure you nail that headshot on the enemy. Now for perks on this class setup, I went ahead and gave you guys four perks in total. For perk one category, I have you guys running Recon and Ghost. Now Recon actually expands your minimap, which is going to allow you to see more people on the minimap, which is really beneficial because when the teammates have a UAV called in, you're going to know where more people are, which is going to increase your chances of being able to get to that person and nail that headshot, especially helpful when knowing where AFK people are because those are the godlike people you want in every single lobby, not necessarily going for good gameplays, but when you really want to nail those headshots because AFK people, if you're not nailing headshots on them, then you probably should rethink your life. So having on recon is going to be really beneficial. And then the other perk one that I have on is Ghost. It allows you to stay off the enemy radar. It's going to be really helpful when trying to remain a little bit stealthy and again, sort of playing a little bit more passive like I was talking about before. For perk two, I have on tack resist. Again, this kind of makes sense. If you do decide to run the blackout grenade or in this case, you're running the cryo mine, being able to have on tack resist is going to make you resistant to those tacticals. So if you do happen to be in close proximity to an enemy when they activate one of these cryo mines or blackout grenades, you are also not going to be affected by it, which is going to allow you to nail that kill. And then for perk three, I have on marksman. This allows you to see enemies at longer range, which is really beneficial when playing on large range maps, but also when using assault rifles. And also what it does, which is incredibly helpful, is it actually decreases your flinch when being shot. Now granted, it only really works on snipers a lot of the time, but it does have a very small impact on a 
assault rifles. So giving yourself just that little bit more advantage in terms of reducing your flinch is going to really help you nail those headshots because getting headshots is all about being precise. But anyways, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Hopefully you all did enjoy. If you guys did, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Like I said, let's go ahead and see if we can shoot for 100 likes on this video. If we could hit that, that would be awesome. And make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I love bringing you guys videos like this where I sort of share some tips and tricks on how to be better at the game, how to complete these little annoying nuances that you've got to do when completing the Black Sky Camo challenges. Honestly, headshots is probably my least favorite thing to do, so I figured I'd go ahead and try to help you guys out with it as well. And remember, if you guys want to go ahead and get some free gift cards and COD points, all you got to do is check out the link in the description below, download some apps on your phone, redeem those points that you get, and unlock some free gift cards. And if you guys did go ahead and watch up until this point in the video, make sure you go ahead and comment down below, hashtag headshots. That'll let me know that you guys watched this entire video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming as always. Stay cool. Adios.